Hey guys, Jake again. I just want to do a, a quick unboxing of a trumpet that I just got. And you can, uh, you'll notice that this case isn't your uh, typical black case. It's a black case with the uh, uh, red stitching. And this is actually a black case um, that came from Japan. And this is um, the... Um, the distributor is called Nonaka Boeki, and that's the Japanese uh, distributor for Bach instruments. And it came with uh, that little uh, netted bag right there is a mute case, if I'm not mistaken. And then this is uh, for the trumpet itself. Um, I think it's supposed to be one of those tarnish cloths, tarnish. Um, um, to keep the horn from tarnishing and let's go ahead and open her up so um, you'll see that it has straps for um, where's the other one um, there's a strap ring right here and I don't know where the other uh, here it is it's right there and it's for um, a strap that goes on your neck so you can carry the case on your neck and um, it has two um, of these latch uh, latches and then it has Bach right there an emblem and then um, what, what's weird about this one is it has a third latch so I've never seen that on a Bach um, a US uh, Bach case so um, yeah and the, um, the handles kind of weird not anything I've ever seen um, so you can see here's my commercial trumpet I actually got this on eBay for a really good price um, it, it was too good to pass up and that was maybe two years ago and the commercial trumpet was still like brand new and I was actually shocked that I got it for that price I got it for a thousand five hundred and uh, now the commercial trumpets are like thirty eight hundred I think and I think that's just pretty mind-boggling. And here is the um, trumpet that I got. This is the um, uh, Stradivarius Model 37, but it says handcrafted in the USA. And um, some of you might know what this is. It has a that uh, the telltale. Uh, it's a B flat trumpet, and it has the. Um, uh, slide um, stopper like the C trumpet uh, from the factory and you can you'll notice that the serial number is off it's 00601 that's because this is a strike horn and um, this is actually um, was made probably in uh, around 2006 maybe 2008 and that's when Vincent Bach had a strike in the Elkhart factory in Indiana and um, this one was made in East Lake, Ohio, hence the handcrafted in the USA. They didn't put it in the East Lake. But I've been playing this trumpet, and it's um, it's uh, it plays pretty good. Um, um, I didn't notice anything different. Also, um, like too different on the like because um, this is a uh, um lightweight construction and uh, standard weight bell so um, Bach uh, hasn't made one uh, a configuration like that uh, since this model 182 trumpet and um, uh, the only the closest thing in the line is the LR because it's a lightweight but it has a reverse lead pipe and a standard weight bell and um, you'll notice that this ferrule right here is um, different as well like the uh, standard um, box made in Elkhart don't have that either and then so I kind of got mad because it actually has a few dents on it yeah there's a couple and um, I had one other I, I'm gonna link the YouTube video in the description I'm going to go ahead and link the um, video in the description of um, 
I actually had a uh, um, another uh, Bach 182, but this the other one it said model 182 on it, and it had no serial number. So I was thinking maybe it was like a prototype, or maybe it was like a one-off uh, bootleg from. Uh, I had my theories like it came with this blue plastic lining uh, on it. It was um, there was another con that I saw on um, eBay by the seller Gammon Brass. And uh, that one, uh, that trumpet was a con trumpet. And then it had the blue um, uh, plastic lining. And I've only seen that on a Shelky um like shoki trumpets um and yeah um so i don't think there are any other differences on this trumpet besides the third stop and the third uh slide fural and um yeah um i just wanted to show you guys this um not very common japanese um distributed um trumpet so yeah um please rate subscribe and comment as always appreciate that thanks guys jake out